Hi guys, my name is Kat, I'm a California CPA and in this video I'll show you how to enter capital gains in Drake Tax software. To enter capital gains in the Drake Tax software, we have to open the tax return, go to income section, capital gains and losses, and here we have, we can enter a description, let's say it was E-Trade, a date acquired, date sold, proceeds, cost, uh, if it was short term or long, long term. And here, uh, if we attach 1099B or not, I think. I think that's what it is. Oh, let's see. Oh, basis reported to IRS, two for basis not reported to IRS, all these things. So let's do one, for example. Also, so that's one of the ways. It's like a summary entry. Another way is to go to items detail and uh, i personally prefer this one and it actually has a couple like videos for how to do like import tools if you have lots of transactions you can just export to excel and enter capital gains so for example this one we also put description date acquired date sold so this one value between months okay got it what if you do so, yeah, so it's just date acquired, type of loss, if it was short term, long term, date disposed. Uh, this one is actually very useful because we can enter adjustment here, adjustments here. So that's that's pretty good if something changed, if it's, if it's market discount or anything like that. I uh, wash sales goes under here. And if it's something related to uh, states, we can also enter if there's any state taxes withheld. So I, I personally prefer this detailed detailed uh, entry, but it's up to you. There's two entries for you. And obviously, if you did, um, if you did um, enter only summary for capital gains, we do need to attach we do need to attach P uh, pdf and i'm going to show you in a second how to attach pdf of 1099b here so in order to attach pdf i usually uh, so basically any questions i have i usually search here uh, so it takes me to this pdf attachment screen and here i need to enter a re reference source uh, the description and then um, file names that has to end with pdf after I'm done with this, uh, I have to go to view print and it will show me a diagnostics for attaching PDF. I'll be right here. Sorry. I think I just saw it. Oh, right here. So we go here um, to this section to attach PDF and go browse, find, find the same file with the same name because it has to be 1099B and just attach it here. So that would clear the diagnostics and this way we can send 1099B along with a tax return. Thank you. I hope you found my video helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more about me and what I do, please go to my website remotecpainla.com and please subscribe to my channel. It means still a lot to me when people comment or subscribe to my channel. That makes me want to continue and record more videos. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.